ahora bien, necesita el traductor. Eh, preguntarle si cree que un artista convencional puede ser vista de la misma manera que ella, por ejemplo, por el tema de la barba. I think people see me in a different way, obviously, of course, because bearded ladies are not that common these days. And, um, well, of course, they will, they will um, maybe not go into the toilet while seeing me on television. So, But, you know, that's the thing. I really created the beard as the symbol, and I know it's provocative, and I know everybody stares at me. But, you know, I think, especially these days, you have to do something to be heard, you know, you have to do something that people listen to you and that I, so I get the chance to, to show them what it's all about and if they just see me on TV maybe they will remember the bearded lady and if they're interested in it they can google it and go to my homepage or whatever and they got to see what my beliefs are all about and why, why I, I, I chose this look like to me. Uh, you have some favorites of this year to win the festival? Actually, yes, I do have uh, favorites this year. And it's, I think it will be surprising for some people, but I really love the song of Aram from Armenia. Mm -hmm. I really like the song. He doesn't yes. like me, but I like the song. <laughs> and I also love Poland. I really do like the video. You saw the video of yes. Poland. I think it's so great, isn't it? It's so colorful and fun and I really love the song too. Yeah. And I do love dancing in the rain. Dancing. Yeah, I really do like it. And I love the video and I think she's so incredibly beautiful. And this voice and I really I really love her. You look actually like her. Yeah. Yeah. Like Berlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You could be sisters. <laughs> but I think like uh, <laughs> Five years ago, I, I tried to satisfy the Eurovision in Eurovision, yeah, yeah. the preselection of the but uh, it represents uh, 800 oh, really? people, yes, and I stay at uh, uh, 154, I think. What? That's good. 800 people, that's good. Congratulations on that. Congratulations. It's my dream. Go to a Yes, don't stop. Don't stop dreaming and, and I go try, I try. Slowly, but yeah, I try. Yeah, that's the best way. That's the best way. Uh, what do you think about the, the, you are an artist uh, very fond of the gay public, but if, the, if, if, if this year Russia uh, wins Eurovision, the next year goes to this country, but uh, in the actual situation of Russia, what do you think about it? Well, I think, you know, we all know it's difficult in Russia um, nowadays because of their, of their ridiculous um, gay law. And, you know, if they're going to win and next year it will be in Moscow, I think, you know, the Eurovision Song Contest is all about tolerance and acceptance. I think it's, that's the essence of this whole thing, that you can be whoever you want to be on this stage. You know, you, you are allowed to, to spread your creativity. And I think it would be a, a great sign if uh, Moscow um, will be uh, presenting the Eurovision Song Contest in 2015, because it would be a sign that they will change something, you know what I mean? And so for me, I really see it in a very positive way. And many people ask me if I'm, if I'm you know, mad about Belarus or, or, or the Russians, how they talk about me. And if I'm honest, I don't really, because I think hate and intolerance is everywhere. It's not about a country, you know. There are, there are people in Austria who like me and people who don't like me in Austria. So I don't think it's just about a country. It's, you know, I think all of us who want freedom and, and live our lives are important. We have to come together and fight for our rights.
to see the city, Madrid, the Spanish people? Well, a bit, yes. We went out for dinner last night and mm -hmm. I was in a flamenco club. And, uh, flamenco uh, club? Yes, <laughs> I, I, I did. And, and I saw some amazing performers. And I ate so much. I, I think I ate the whole kitchen mm -hmm. of the restaurant. And I have to be honest, I fell asleep. Uh, asleep, sorry. I fell in love every second I go on the street because the boys are so handsome here. They're so pretty. I, I'm staring all the way. <laughs> and what, uh, what, what about the Spanish elephants? Oh my god, it's for me, you know, I, I chose a Spanish name to be my, my name of my stage character and I really love the, the Spanish attitude and, and of course also from Latin America because I think you're so passionate and you're also beautiful and you're full of joy and I really like that and I, I was so, so much looking forward to, to this day because, you know, I had, I had very much to do in the last weeks because of the Eurovision and, and you know, and all that stuff, and I, I looked up in my calendar and I thought, oh my god, I'm going to Madrid next week, and then I was so excited, and now I'm here, and actually, actually I want to stay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite singer of all years of Eurovision? Oh, this, oh, that's, that's such a cliche, but it's gonna be Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Yeah, she's my hero. Yes, yeah. in 1988, yeah. so, yes, it's a great song. And when finishing Eurovision Song Contest, what will you consider most? Well, I hope it's gonna be um, successful for me personally, and it's uh, gonna be. It, I hope it won't stop after the Eurovision Song Contest, but it won't because I, I will never stop singing. <laughs> so if the people want it or not, I will stay. Um, after that, we. I think I, I would. I would love to travel more. You know, because now with your wish to Spain, yeah, go to Spain again. Of course, I have to. I heard about great parties over the summer of, of uh, Madrid Pride and, and something like that. I think I have to come again. And yeah, so th that what I really want to do is focus on music and also maybe do more fashion again because I have a yeah yeah because I have um, I made a fashion school. I, I finished fashion school years and years ago and I quit doing fashion because singing is more my passion but I think in the future I will maybe I'll do a shoe line or something like that. <laughs> or, or a show in the TV. Yeah maybe maybe like that yeah. That's good. So very good luck to Eurovision Song Contest and thank you for the, the interview. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bueno amigos, hasta aquí la entrevista con Chita Bons para Estoy Bailando. Un beso y nos vemos muy pronto. Un beso. Grande beso. Was this right? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs>